Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Miami, Florida, where we find Joey Surreal Camera auditing another post office, only to make himself look like a complete moron and a tool. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And this is where we're at. And we're going to see with their respect my rights to film in this federal building. Oh, oh for real? Is it legal? Oh. Yeah. All right. Where's your rules and regulations? Your poster seven? Right there. Where you from? Huh? Where you from? Where are you from? What news news organization are you from? Oh, I'm just I just take video for myself. I like taking video in federal buildings. I like taking video of you guys working. Oh, yeah, Joey, watching people work is so much easier than doing actual work, isn't it? I should know. I worked, well, for most of my damn life. Well, you, on the other hand, I don't think you've worked a day in your life, uh, my man, because, well, you're too damn lazy and too much of a damn criminal to even get a job. But even if you had a job, I seriously doubt you'd last the first day because of your attitude issues. I mean, who'd want to hire a joker like you? You'd be chewing out the customers on the first day and well you'd be out the door on the first day and buying a stamp because that's what i need what's your name Jose. Hi, nice to meet you Jose. what's your name <sighs> my name is joey What would make you say that I can't record in a building that I can record in? It's legal. Go ahead, man. Just do whatever you gotta do. Yeah, but don't. Over here. Don't give no orders that's not even lawful, man. Do whatever you gotta do. What's with the attitude, dude? Well, Joey, you gotta give respect to get respect, and you gave none from the moment that you entered this office. So yeah. I can see where he's coming from at this point. I mean, if a clown like you walked into my previous job, acted like a complete moron like you usually do, I mean, raising up a big stink over nothing, you'd be shown the door. But then again, with my previous job and my current job, you wouldn't even made it past the front door anyway. So, yeah, uh, you wouldn't have had a chance to act like a complete jackass. I don't do that. No, I don't. You're wrong. You know what I try to do? To see how professional you guys act. That's what I do. Cash back, please, or no cash back. Pin number, please. Make sure you guys respect my rights to film you guys. That's what I do. I don't look for bad confrontations. I don't. You guys got it totally wrong. You smell like marijuana, too, you know? All right. Nice lie right there. And even if I did... No. What's, the, the, what's wrong with that? The, I think you uh, gotta go check your nose. You know, I think THC is not the least of his uh, vices in this particular case because, you know, I think he partakes in a little bit of acid, a little bit of angel dust here and there. Yeah, I mean, he's got the kind of guy that does it, a complete freaking total loser. I mean, the guy is like, what, 48, 49 years old, really has no job prospects, and well, he has to drive his mama's car all the damn time. Well, go to a nose doctor and that. Yep. But even if I did, is that illegal? No, right? So, your attitude is not good, man. You look miserable. Have a bad day. What's your name, ma'am? I just need your name. It's your policy to identify. Just give me your name. Right there? How you doing right there? What's your name? Just pronounce it. I'm going to get going. You see, when you guys give me confrontations like that, then you guys wonder why we call you call us agitators and we're just looking for problems. We're not doing that. We're looking for professionalism. Yeah, right. All about professionalism. Well, let me tell you something about professionalism that you probably haven't figured out yet. There's an old saying, uh, 
Punish in private, praise in public. And that's something you don't exactly do, because if you don't like somebody's attitude in a office like this, you tend to yell at them in the public. That right there would be definitely unprofessional in any type of managerial setting. But I'm not saying that you're a manager. I'm saying you're trying to pose as one because... Well, you don't know what the hell you're doing in that kind of scenario anyway. So to put it bluntly, in a real-world job setting, you most certainly would be unprofessional. So you, you guys treat me when I need service. So you guys respect my rights to film under your policy there, that's schools and regulations, along with the First Amendment. So give me your name real quick. Can you pronounce it? Joey, can you even read... Well, I doubt it, considering that uh, you actually believe that load of crap that says that you're allowed to film in there no matter what, because that's not what Poster 7 actually says. It basically comes down to the fact that you need the permission of the postmaster or the installation head to even do that kind of stuff. But you know what? You haven't read it. You're not going to read it because you're an illiterate dumbass, so you might as well just, well, shove it up your rear end. Marie Lord, referred to as Marie in the television series, and a German boy named... Nah, uh, you're going to make me zoom in right now. Who becomes adept at building Come on, you, sh you should be professional and pronounce your name. It's not that hard. She's blind and is equally fast. This is why I come and report to you guys and make sure you guys are on point. And this guy's attitude sucks. Oh, poor little Joey. Do you want to go home and lie in your crib so your mama can bring you a uh, warm bottle of milk so you can suck on it for the night and uh, rock yourself to sleep? Because, well, nobody really feels sorry for you, you dumbass. Shouldn't act like that. Do I really smell like marijuana? I didn't think so. Alright, so guys, this is it right here. This is what you have in this uh, post office. Cause this guy feels uncomfortable. This guy thinks, this lady thinks that I'm coming to to start harassing the people here. Which I'm not doing that. And there's the poster seven. He's right on there. Right. As you guys can see right here. Hey, Joey, I've got a, a proposition for you. As somebody like myself who's been to a college setting and has had to write uh, plenty of papers on a lot of topics, I would suggest that you actually go up to uh, Poster 7 right there, zoom right in on it, and actually read the entire paragraph to your audience. That way they know, you, they know you're full of shit. But of course, you're not going to do that because it doesn't fit your little ongoing narrative. So yeah, let's just go ahead and continue on because you're just making yourself look like a complete tool at this point. That Renee over there, that's Mrs. Right here. It's a shame to her name. Hold on, guys. Why is it so hot in here? The AC is not working? It's very hot in here. You guys could check that AC there that we pay for. Just a little heads up because it is very hot in here. Oh, oh, come on now. Joey, you're a damn Floridian. You should know better than that. You should be used to the heat of the state. I mean, it is hot just about everywhere you go. You know the old saying about Florida. There's only two seasons in Florida. Fall and summer. And that's it. We don't get a winter and we don't get a spring because it just transitions from one to the other. And guys, uh, this guy, uh, Jose, wants to uh, bust some uh, unlawful orders. He's not a police officer, dumbass. He is a postal worker, and you are in his office. And, well, if you don't want to get trespassed, don't act like a know-it-all jackass like you do a lot of times. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?